Welcome to Advertising Digital Technology at Lenape Tech. The ADT program is only the beginning of your education for advertising, media arts, and digital technology. Nearly all starting jobs in the field require at least two years of post-secondary school, and many starting jobs require four years of college. Because we want you to be successful in ADT, it is important that you have certain abilities and skills before you apply to the program. Please note, presently, the ADT program does not include specific instruction in game design. First, you should have basic public speaking and communication skills. You must be able to speak in front of the class and give presentations to a live audience of students. You will be expected to be on camera and read moving text from a teleprompter, just like you see on professional newscasts. You will also be on Lenape TV and have recordings of yourself viewable online. You will also record your voice as you read scripts and will play recordings of your voice aloud. Second, you should have the ability to sit at a computer station and view a monitor for extended periods of time. Class internet use is for educational value and not entertainment purposes. Third, you should have basic knowledge of computer usage and operating systems and know how to open, save, and close files. You should have the physical ability for advanced mouse and keyboard use, including ability to type, click, select, move, and scroll. Experience with the Microsoft Office Suite or the ability to learn it quickly is helpful, but not required. You should have the ability to follow step-by-step -step instructions and demonstrations to complete open-ended, multi-step projects. You will need to take notes, study, and prepare for challenging certification exams on the computer. You should be self-directed and motivated to stay on task while on the computer working on class assignments. You should have a high willingness to learn. You will need to handle fragile, expensive equipment. Extreme care must be used at all times. Other important skills used throughout the course include employing customer service skills, responding to constructive criticism, willingness to redo projects several times to meet the expectations of the customer, using high-level creativity, imagination, and artistic awareness, displaying professionalism and maturity essential for the workplace, working as a team member with other students while still being able to work independently, demonstrating strong interpersonal skills, maintaining good attendance, wearing a shop shirt when designated, being aware of what the expectations are will help you succeed in Lenape Tech's Advertising Digital Technology Program. Have a seat in front of the Mac computer. At the bottom left corner of the back of the computer, press the power button to power on the Mac. At the login screen, type the word guest for name, G-U-E-S-T. Leave the password field blank and click the enter button. Wait patiently for a minute or so for the Mac to initialize. You may get a pop-up window for the Team Viewer app to work on the computer. Click the OK button. This activity will demonstrate ability to use a mouse. We'll be going to a website to do this. To launch the website, the bottom of the screen, third icon from the left, is an icon that looks like a compass. This will launch the Safari browser and take us to the internet. We're going to click on 
the Safari icon. And in the address bar, to search, we're going to type a word that's a little bit of a funny word. It's called mouser size. M O U S E R C I S E. And hit the return key. The website at the top of the search results, mousing around, mouser size, is the one you want to click on. So we'll click this link and it will take you to a website that will demonstrate your ability to use a computer mouse. You're going to want to click through this activity. It will take you a few minutes to go through and do everything and at the end you'll type in your name and the screen will display a certificate indicating that you completed the tutorial. When you complete the tutorial, please show the instructor your certificate before you move on. So to start this, practice your mousing skills with the following mouser size. Click the Let's Start Mouser Sizing button below to begin button is here. Click this and the tutorial will start. We'll read the instructions on the screen and do the activity that it instructs you to. Example would be the first one. Click on the link below. Hint, look for number one below. So what you will do is click number one. And it will take you to the next activity so you'll follow these on-screen instructions till you complete the tutorial and at the very end you'll type your name and it will show a certificate on screen indicating that you completed the activity. Please show the instructor your certificate. Once again at the bottom left area of the dock Click the icon to launch Safari that looks like a compass. In the address bar at the top of the browser, type in qprompter.com. C U E P R O M P T E R dot com. Click the enter button. The website for the teleprompter will launch. In the white box area of the screen, type in the script you get from the instructor for the information to load into the teleprompter. Type in the material from the script obtained from the instructor here. Pause the video at this time. When you are finished typing the script, show the instructor that you're done so they can look at your work. Next, I will demonstrate the process of reading a script from a teleprompter. Now that you've typed up the script and showed the instructor, we're ready to go to the next step. I'm going to click the Start Prompter button to load the script in a new tab and it will be formatted to be read from a teleprompter screen. The new tab opens up and the script shows up in teleprompter format. It's basically a box that represents a TV screen. These numbers control the speed of the scrolling text. These are the direction areas. So to move forward I will click this. To stop it you can either click this button or the space bar and reverse goes backwards. 
I'm going to begin by clicking number four for speed. When I start the forward button, it starts to roll. Using the space bar, I can pause the script and start it again on the fly. So if it starts to scroll too fast, I can stop it just by clicking the space bar and start it again by clicking the space bar. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the script and demonstrate how to read a script from a teleprompter. After I do this, you will go ahead and give it a try. So I'm going to start to read and click the forward button. I may be using the space bar to pause the script. Good morning, Lenape. Today is Thursday, August 24th, 2018. I'm John Smith, and you're watching the Lenape Tech News. Students must have a signed agenda with them anytime they leave the classroom. A signed agenda is your hall pass. Please make sure the clothes you're wearing to school follow the school dress code policy. If they do not, you may be required to change clothes and will be subject to discipline. Students, please remember that your ID must be worn from the waist up at all times, including while in the cafeteria. Speaking of the cafeteria, if you eat breakfast in the cafeteria from August 27th to September 14th, you will be entered in a contest to win a free breakfast. A new winner gets picked daily. For all you newcomers, there will be a getting to know you assembly today. So make sure to introduce yourself to any new people you encounter during the fun activities. Students who participate in athletics at Armstrong High School, Barker Bus B47 will be transporting students after our PM dismissal throughout the week as needed. You will not need a bus pass to ride this bus. Attention seniors, for all of you that want to drive to school, you can buy parking passes until the end of this month. Juniors, you will be able to get parking passes starting in September. Reminder, the library is having a contest and you can enter in a drawing to win a Sheets or Dunkin' Donuts gift card. You should definitely enter. Hey, don't forget, we have a longer weekend due to the Labor Day holiday. There will be no school on Labor Day. And now over to Dustin for the weather report. Now that you've seen the demo, you can actually practice this right in this video. Next you'll have a section to read the script just like the demo. You can use the space bar while playing this video to pause the script and continue your read. Practice until you're ready to show the instructor. 